instead of tires on Oh, we just missed the NPR story on the boring withdrawal. And they said that there'll be a whole bunch of people that are not going to have any service if uh, they allow the withdrawal. And uh, I don't know, who knows what's really true. I guess there's a, a facility over there, uh, a lot of, uh, I don't know, a nursing home or something, that gets uh, service from TriMet and they should be paying for their own their own uh, rides. Well, I don't know. Is it, well, if it's a for-profit facility, they probably should be. Although, I don't know how that works. I mean, people in nursing homes are still citizens, aren't they? I mean, they still have a right to... Just because they live in a nursing home doesn't mean they don't have a right to transit, right? I don't know how it works, but... Sounds to me like just because they live in a nursing home, they doesn't mean they're not citizens anymore. I don't know. I can understand why the born people want out, though. It's, you know, basically they're just providing the service there. I don't know. Don't ask me. I don't know anything about it. But a lot of other communities have gotten out of the TriMet Transit District and uh, seem to do fine. So, I mean, can you do any worse than one trip in the morning and one trip in the evening, I don't think you can or anything. I mean, that's really not exactly what I would call uh, stellar uh, service. In any event, we are now on Wednesday, and it's the last day of the month. And uh, Three days left in the sign up here. You know, today, tomorrow, and then Friday. And you know, I'm still recovering from my the abuse I've taken at the hands of the tyrants. You know, whoa, wasn't much fun having to listen to what's going on here. It wasn't much fun having to absorb that abuse based on some baloney report. That that's really that was very disappointing. I know they want to get rid of me. Yeah, I'm a target. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that, all all of the above. You know, uh, it's still not right to be manufacturing evidence against people. That's just not right. You know. Uh, hey, look, comes a 20 bus. And let's see. Yeah, I still contest that it's bullshit. And people that ride my bus know I call those stops. So they're just they're just trying to psychologically torture me. That's their little payback for all the shit I've caused on them. I'm pretty convinced that that's exactly what it is. Because, you know, I've been in politics before. I, I've seen how you step on toes, they step on your toes. I wish I could find something reasonable, though. I mean, you know, you have to make up shit, really. I mean, that's like Boston politics stuff back when I used to work in the Democratic Party back east. It's like, you know, you actually make up lies and shit to cover, to uh, make people look bad. I mean, I. I just have a hard time believing a transit district is capable of that kind of behavior. But, you know, look at the traffic. Man, I don't know about coming up this way. It's a hard, uh, it's a hard way to go. They really need a light here, you know. I don't know when they're going to put one in, but they certainly need one. There's a lot of accidents here, too. I mean, I, I want to cooperate, but I also want to get to work. Go ahead, man. Yeah, don't let him out. You gotta let people out. You gotta co You gotta cooperate. Without cooperation on the roads, it's just dog eat dog, and I, I don't live like that. So we were able to get them out, and now we're we're safe on Skyline. 
unless we run into a bicyclist on this road in the winter at night and they're out here and they are scary they got big balls yeah you know I want to make uh, you know I am all for the ADA people say oh you're not for the ADA I'm against this no that's not the fact of the matter is I'm all for the ADA I am for everybody having the right to take transit and I'm all for providing the proper services to the disabled I really am I, and, I, and I go out of my way to help people that need help disabled or otherwise you know I go out of my way for that and I'm, I'm perfectly reasonable person and I and I think that things should be done in a reasonable fashion and I just find uh, it's not the ADA I have a problem with, it's the company TriMet. Everybody says, you hate TriMet. Well, I didn't, you know, I certainly have a lot of problems with the politics of TriMet. Yeah, I do. And it, but I didn't used to disdain the management. At this point, I, I disdain the management. At this point, I just, uh, just don't have any respect for them at all. You know, I'm still here. I don't have anywhere to go. People say, well, if you don't like your job, why don't you quit? Well, that's the most ignorant question you could ask somebody. Because jobs aren't, you just can't go from one job. I used to when I was younger and I didn't care that much about, you know, at this point, I'm stuck here until I'm 58 at least. So at least I can come away with something. I gotta go make an appointment with the retirement people too. I mean, I, I use the little calculator that they had. They have a little calculator at the Trinet. You put in a number of years, you put in your status and it spits out how much you get. It's a nice little thing. Uh, but you know, I I, uh, I really don't know what to do about being an employee here. I mean, there's so many of us are suffering under the, re the rule of these people lately. It's, it's really gotten ugly here. You know, they, they've gotten so tyrannical. It's just it's part of the new world order, man. Just watch Alex Jones. TriMet is part of the new world order. They are a governmental fascist organization imposing its will on the citizens. And I know I'm supposed to be, since I'm an agent of, wow, the traffic is bad over there. Since I'm, see, here's another one that has, why are people turning right on red at this light? Nobody does. It does not say no right turn on red. Look at the sky, it's a nice sunset. It is part of the New World Order. I am convinced that we are part of the New World Order here, and I'm supposed to be a tool of the, of the, uh, since I work for the government, I'm supposed to be like the police, and just, you know, hey, you're the police, you're getting paid, so you go club them on the head, you go do what we tell you, don't, don't make any waves. See, government employees, are supposed to actually be happy they have the best because there's nobody that pays any the new world order look at the traffic that was not bad a minute ago the globalists as he would say have to have screwed all of the working classes and they're on their way here to america and coming to a country near you and uh it's not some kind of a fictitious idea. I mean, they do want to destroy our pensions, our benefits. They want to, they want to torture us. And uh, I resist. I resist. I mean, how can a little blogger like me be such a threat to a multi, a billion-dollar agency? Apparently, I am. It's a, it's, it's incredible, isn't it? It is incredible. By the way, when I uh, do quit, I'm not going to stop blogging. I won't have inside Trinet access anymore. And you won't get these daily videos anymore like, like this. But I'll be out on the, in the service area checking out the transit system. You know, there's a lot of things I wanted to do over here that I just have, don't have time right now. Plus, I want to get my ass up to uh, Vancouver, B.C. I want to do, like, have you ever seen the Nabiot uh, YouTube site? He travels all over the country just riding on transit and filming it. Man, that would be great to do something like that, wouldn't it? Anyway, I'm uh, 
mostly psychologically repaired from the damage yesterday. I, you know, I'm very weary, very paranoid. Uh, I just don't understand their tactics. Okay, with me, yeah, but they said there's only three. Just said there's only three people in this position, and that that is. <laughs> They just stuck me in there. I'm, I know that it's a setup in my case because I know what I've been doing. See, Al's been doing his job right for 14 years, but last this last year, coincidentally, at the same time that McFarland took over, all of a sudden Al's not doing his job so good. Harassment, retaliation, I, I don't know. Up to you to guess. It certainly seems like it to me, doesn't it? Yes, I, I can put cause and effect, because how can I be a good employee for the last 14 years and all of a sudden, I've just turned so bad. And that video that Dave took when I was driving, you can see it, the passengers still like me. I mean, they don't have the issue with me. It's all about trimus. Do they still have the... Yeah, here it is. Ah. Is this thing open, I wonder?